Welcome to another episode of Slave Sermons. One of the most effective tricks of preachers is a technique I call storm chasing. Nearly 100% of the time, somewhere in the body of their sermon, preachers will paint a gloomy and cloudy picture of your life, which in reality they know nothing about. Deliberately placing you in the storms of life gives the preacher the opportunity to rescue you. As their voice intensifies and the emotional fervor of the congregation heightens, the preacher now symbolically represents the sunshine which offers the solution to your problem, which you may or may not have even been experiencing. Here's a classic example of storm chasing. If anybody in here have gone through any struggles, If anybody here have had any setbacks, you don't know what, I, what I've been through to get what I got from God. You don't know what I've gone through. You don't know what I've experienced. You don't know what ups and downs I've had to get what I got now. So she said, I was in my house and a robber broke in my house, shot my husband. I don't remember your car note not being behind. That's why I'm trying to tell you, if you've never gone through no stuff, you really don't know how to praise. There is not an adult on this planet who has not at some point in their lives experienced a personal setback. The preacher's job, however, is to make our setbacks the focal point of their sermons. I'm talking about anybody who's ever had a bill late. Raise your hand. If, and anybody didn't know how they was going to make it, just raise your hand. I'm talking to anybody that didn't know which way they was going to go. Just raise your hand. If you've raised your hand for all three, can you give God 15 seconds of crazy? Tune in next time for another episode of Slave Sermons.